We're becoming a global leader in solar, too. Every four minutes, another American home or business goes solar. Every panel pounded into place by a worker whose job cannot be outsourced. Let's continue that progress with a smarter tax policy that stops giving $4 billion a year to fossil fuel industries that don't need it so we can invest more in fuels of the future that do. There was a 47% jump in the number of home solar installations in the country. By the end of the year, more than 400,000 American homes had solar. Don Daler introduces us to one man who uses imagination to help energize the change. New Jersey is one of the top five users of solar power in the country. One company, Solar City, says they're signing up new users in 14 states at the rate of one every three minutes. An impressive figure, especially when you consider Solar City's co-founder and CEO, Lyndon Rive, has absolutely zero experience in the power industry. I'm a serial entrepreneur. This is my, this is my third company. A serial entrepreneur. <laughs> the, uh, um, <laughs> it is. I started my first company when I was 17, and then I started my second company when I was 22. Uh, sold that to, to Dow Computers. And then I uh, started uh, Solar City with my brother. Solar City's business model is as different as its CEO. We install the solar system for free. There's no cost. There's no cost for the equipment. There's no cost for the installation. There's no cost for the warranty and the maintenance. And then what we sell them is the electricity. How is that not just trading one utility company for another? It is. It's exactly that. So given the choice of paying more for dirty power or paying less for clean power, which one would you take? Rive says his system solves the main uh, issue that prevents homeowners from converting to solar power. Most people still are stuck with the stigma that solar is too expensive, um, I, I, don't want, I can't afford the investment. But when we tell them that there's no investment and you just save money and it's cleaner, the next reaction is, you know, what, what's the catch? What am I missing? What Rive is not missing is the gene for innovation. Elon Musk, creator of the all-electric car, the Tesla, is Solar City's chairman. He is also Rive's cousin. Solar City addresses the, fossil, uh, the electricity side, and then Tesla addresses the transportation side. Mm -hmm. So the two combined, we can start living a carbon-free lifestyle uh, without sacrifice. You're obviously a, a good salesman, but do you buy your own product? Do you have solar power at your house? Absolutely, I have solar power at my house. I, I, I have a solar uh, system, I have an electric car. Does your electric vehicle happen to be a Tesla? It is a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest There's car a in the surprise. world. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, exactly. It was Musk who suggested Rive look into solar energy while the cousins were driving through the Nevada desert. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Don Daler, New York. Elon, what? What kind of crazy dream would persuade you to think of trying to take on the auto industry and build an all-electric car? Well, it, it goes back to when I was in, in university. I thought about what, what are the problems that are most likely to affect the future of the world uh, or future of humanity. I think it, it's extremely important that we have sustainable transport and sustainable energy production. That sort of overall sustainable energy problem is, is the biggest problem that we have to solve this century. Independent of environmental concerns, uh, in fact, even if producing CO2 is good for the environment, given that it's, we're, we're going to run out of hydrocarbons, we need to find some sustainable means of, of operating. Right. So, so this is only one string to your energy bow. You've been working on, on this solar company, Solar City. What's unusual about that? Well, as I mentioned earlier, we have to have uh, sustainable electricity production as well as consumption. So the, I, I'm quite confident that the, the primary means of, of power generation will be solar. I mean, it's really indir indirect fusion is what it is. Um, we've got this giant fusion generator in the sky called the sun, um, and we just need to tap a little bit of that energy for purposes of, of human civilization. Most people know but don't realize they know is that the world is almost entirely solar powered already. Um, if, if the sun wasn't there, we'd be a frozen ice ball at three degrees Kelvin. Um, and the, the sun powers the, the entire system of precipitation. Uh, the whole ecosystem is, is solar powered. Um, you, you yourself get, get a, a sort of long-term commercial benefit from that power. You're kind of building a distributed, new type of distributed utility. I, I, exactly. What, what it amounts to is a giant distributed utility. Um, oh. And it's, I think it's a good thing because utilities are, have been this monopoly that, and people haven't had any choice. So effectively, it's the first time You've, there's been competition for this monopoly 
because the, the, the utilities have been the only ones that own those power distribution lines, but now it's on your roof. So I think it's actually very empowering for homeowners and businesses.